All right, guys. Never a dull moment. Never, ever a dull moment. So uh, this morning, on my way to High Rock, uh, I had the misfortunes of having a blowout on uh, my trailer. I'm on the side of the road here. Complete and utter annihilation of my tire. Uh, and sadly, uh, the weekend before I had removed my jack and my tire iron and anything I needed to change a tire was out of my truck and in the garage. So I was kind of stranded. Um, but we uh, managed to get the tire back on with a little bit of help. But the sad part was that the tire itself shredded and cut my brake lines. So we are at Integrity Auto Repair, just outside of Salisbury, and they are going to be hooking me up by fixing my brake lines and getting me back on the road. So hopefully we can enjoy the remainder of the day at High Rock Lake. So uh, this is my last day too, as a 40 something year old. Tomorrow I turn 50, so I was great. I was really like looking forward to today and we are gonna make the best of it. Um, you know, I'm thankful that uh, the boat's safe and, uh, you know, we are going to be able to carry on. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll be on the water soon. Well, guys, four hours later, uh, we have made it to High Rock. Um, now, the water is really low. So it's a lot of the areas that I wanted to go look at, I am not going to go look at right now because based on how my luck's going, I'm just not pushing it. So... Um, we are going to run up into a creek uh, that I have not been in. I uh, figure since the water's low, I'll be able to get under that bridge uh, safely. And uh, I'm just going to do more recon than anything else. Obviously, I'm going to sample some of this water. I, I got to have my rod bent, but um, mostly I'm going to be looking for some brush piles and some offshore structure that leads into some of these spawning pockets in preparation for the BFL next weekend. So. Um, I'm going to turn on these graphs, check out the water temperature, and uh, we're going to get rolling. So sadly, the tire blowout wasn't the only bad thing that happened. Uh, I ended up losing battery, a dropped battery cell on my trolling motor, and uh, I could not even uh, troll, use the trolling motor at one mile an hour. So I was using my big motor to reposition myself, especially if there was any breeze at all, um, which uh, obviously limited the fishing I could do. So we ran over here um, to the creek I plan on running into, and, and I just decided to run this rip wrap. I'm still struggling with my trolling motor. Um, I have virtually no power to it at all. Um, I'm limping along for sure. But the water temperature is significantly warmer than it uh, was in Second Creek. Uh, four degrees warmer. So I suspect in the back of these cuts, it's going to be the right temperature. So, you know one thing I'll say about this trolling motor being jacked up is it's forcing me to fish really slow. Maybe it's a good thing. Like seriously, maybe, maybe this was, uh, maybe this is what, I need it.
not tip down because there's a boat right there. But we got ourselves long. I don't know how big it is yet, but this guy's freaking slowing down for sure. Alright, we're probably good. Alright. Look at that like weird thing on the side of his face. So we're definitely uh, getting some opportunities to fish a little bit. You know, I've been basically idling through certain this creek and you know marking where I find brush and different structure, bait, that sort of thing. And and uh, you know then I, I might go back and fish a little bit if I feel that uh, it might be conducive to do so. And uh, yeah, we've caught a few fish. Um, not all of them have been big, but uh, we have caught a few. So it's been a fun day overall, and this recon mission has been productive. So, you know, I'm super psyched. I am, uh, I guess optimistic would be the word, um, about the BFL. Definitely like a rock vein right here. I don't want to look out for that. Um, and yeah, overall, overall a good day. This is something else that we're uh, working on. This is prototype number gazillion. It's gonna be called the I Dive series. And I just spray painted this one red just because it's winter time. But it's got a really tight wobble, cast like a dream, has a rattle system in it. Um, actually two rattle systems in it. I would describe its action similar to Rapala's DT series, but it has the castability of a strike game. We just focus on keeping ours, uh, you know, good quality and, and obviously focusing on certain attributes of various crankbaits that caught a lot of fish. So I really think our iDive series is going to be super well received. Uh, I think Tennessee ledge fishermen, guys in Kentucky Lake, um, you know, Texas fishermen, they're going to really, really dig what we got going on in, uh, in the in the crankbait world as these things get released so things take time though uh, I know some companies can release baits every other week but that's largely because they have a huge engineering team and lots of money and hell half the time they don't design anything they're just buying a private label lure and here's a good one and putting their name on it we do things a little differently. You know, it's one man owned and operated. So, it's a freaking toad, y'all. Absolute toad. I dive crankbaits, but they're coming. They're coming, guys. They're coming. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. That's a take, son. <clears throat> oh my god, those hooks freaking got them. Mustad Ultra Points. KVD short shanks, baby. No need to replace the hooks on this bad boy. That's what I'm talking about, son. I love High Rock. I love High Rock. Love this lake. Stoked on it. All right, we're gonna move. Get this guy in the well. Look at that tank, baby. Ow! <laughs> yes, son. That's what I'm talking about. That thing's giant, man. That's a seven pounder for sure. At least we'll wait in a minute. So it has been a productive day. Um, we've done a lot of side scanning. Uh, because the water is low, and I anticipate it being low for the event, I'm going to bet that the buck brush just is not going to come into play, at least in most areas. So what I've been doing is looking for offshore stuff. You know, brush, brush piles that are on docks in spawning coves. 
uh, with you know maybe four feet of water on them. And I've been marking those and going back and fishing some of that stuff, and, and I have been getting bit. So I think that this homework hopefully will uh, play dividends in the event, but we will certainly see. Hopefully it does. Well, I side scanned those fish. Saw that there's bass all up on these rocks. Casted out that eye dive. And we got ourselves another one. Another freaking golf ball. Oh, I better land this fish. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. How's that for a fucking chunk, y'all? Damn. Look at that guy. Woo. She's beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and the fish catches. Uh, I know there wasn't that many, but uh, much of my time was spent side scanning, looking for brush piles off docks and uh, rock veins uh, in certain sections of the lake. <clears throat> Obviously we caught a few big ones. It's a great day, in my opinion, super productive and definitely provided me with a lot of information uh, for the forthcoming BFL. Uh, I do think with the warming trend, we're gonna see things change rapidly. Um, coming up to the tournament. So uh, I'm going to have to stay dynamic and be willing to adapt to whatever the bass are doing. So I uh, definitely don't want to get stuck in my head um, that this is the pattern that's going to play because it's probably not. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, my wife, my beautiful wife, um, so I was, I've been on a diet and uh, I, I did not want to have anything going on for my 50th birthday party as far as food or anything like that. So uh, my wife planned something special for me. She booked us at the Great Wolf Lodge, which uh, is, is kind of, you know, right down the road. So uh, it was a little bit of a stay vacation, I guess. And uh, we had a blast. So um, guys, this is gonna close out this video. Uh, stay tuned, I will be posting my day two practice and day three practice, uh, as well as tournament coverage. So hope you guys are glued in. If you have not subscribed, please do so. And uh, as always, feel free to comment and click that like button. Thanks guys.